All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Healthy Union. Uh, today we're gonna do two things. So uh, my uh, food theme was to cook once for two meals. And so our first one's gonna be a chicken teriyaki bowl. Um, we're gonna really focus in on how to get good color on teriyaki chicken. And we're gonna make some Asian street tacos. So we're gonna start off, I have Alejandra here that's gonna help. She's gonna make the cabbage salad that goes on top. Very simple ingredients. We start off with a little, very little sesame oil, a little rice vinegar, a little bit of soy sauce, cabbage, green onions, and shredded carrots. She's gonna do a little basic vinaigrette and then toss all that together. I'm gonna get started on the chicken. And I just wanna show you the marinade. This has been marinating for 20 minutes and it's out at room temperature. Um, this is the amount of marinade that's in a pound and a half of chicken. And that's the sake that we said sake, but we, because we don't have alcohol in the union, we have a substitute of white grape juice and rice, uh, rice wine vinegar. Um, and that's on the recipe that I turned in as a substitution for sake. And then that's a little bit of soy sauce. And then all we're gonna do is drain it, drain the chicken off. Just save our bowl, cause we're gonna go right back in. We're gonna give that a little shake to get the juice off. And we're gonna put this over the chicken. And what's the cornstarch gonna do? It's gonna provide um, some crispiness to it. Um, it's gonna suck up the rest of that marinade and kind of make a, a small batter. And then again, we're gonna use very little oil. So the key to sauteing and reducing your fat is a very good nonstick skillet. Um, I have a bigger one than you would at home. If you wanna go in a couple of batches, that's fine. So I'm gonna use probably half the oil for all the chicken. And that's the measurement you would use. But because we have nonstick, we're gonna use about half the amount of oil you normally would. And you'll see how fast we can brown this. And then make sure your pan starts off really hot. And you'll see how fast we get nice teriyaki color onto our chicken. Okay, and then the second one we're gonna do over here on the salad is, those are for the jalapenos? Yeah. Is we're gonna make uh, the pickled jalapenos that we're gonna put on our tacos. That's fish sauce, lime juice, and brown sugar. Again, very simple ingredients, yep. And don't be intimidated by pickling. This is called a quick pickle. It's done in an hour, it's ready to go. And then once you have that color, you're gonna flip it, and you can see it's starting to get opaque here. You wanna flip it over and you have nice caramelization. So once we've browned that chicken and we've gone to 165 degrees temperature, we're gonna add these back to the pan and then we're gonna reduce it down with the finishing sauce. This is sake mirin. Mirin, you can get this right at Walmart. That's exactly where this came from. Um, it's just an ingredient in the Asian side of it. Uh, there's some ginger in here. Ginger is very important to teriyaki chicken and a little bit of brown sugar. We're just gonna add that in. We're gonna start the, a quick fried rice for our, our street tacos. Okay, so we're talking about fried rice. So you're gonna buy ginger for the recipe, so I still had some of that. I have some green onion that I had from the cabbage. And then I have one egg. And what I did with the egg versus adding a lot of soy into your fried rice, I took a little bit of that marinade, that finishing sauce that you just saw, and I poured it inside the egg. If you've never had an Asian omelet, it's delicious. So we're gonna just start off with that. Um, I'm sorry, we're gonna uh, start with a little bit of this to saute it, very little oil, and the white parts of the shallot. Get that moving, then we'll add the egg in. Again, non-stick pan, don't need a lot of oil. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this ginger down. Ginger's very powerful, but I love it. It's a really good ingredient. And the whites of the green onion and it should coat really nice. You have a little bit of sauce left for your rice bowl, and that's gonna be, it looks really good. We're gonna add the egg. And then we're gonna come in with the rice. And it's not gonna take very long. We're just providing a base for our taco. And you just cut that egg up.
And that's it. Again, fried rice, but not a lot of grease at all. The, the trick is the nonstick pan. And we have that ready for our taco. So let's start by making the bowl. So another, another key I would tell you to bowls, they're very popular right now. Um, I think you get a lot of contrast between um, hot and cold or warm. Um, let your salad sit out at room temperature for a little while. And if, if you just don't like the, the temperature difference, you could toss this in your saute pan very quick. Yep, take that off. And so very simple, we're gonna brown rice. We're gonna start off on the bottom with that. And we're gonna take a little bit of the slaw. And then just put your chicken on top. This will feed four portions. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the rice that we had left over. So we're utilizing our rice, we're utilizing our chicken, utilizing the ginger that we had to buy that comes in bigger portions, the green onions. And we, yeah, we're gonna put that on top. So we're gonna start off with just a little base of rice. And then we're gonna drop some chicken on there. And then we, uh, I took a little, all I did with this is take a little pineapple, dice it up in a red bell pepper, and I tossed it just and very lightly in a little red chili to give it a little juice. And that would provide like our salsa. And then we're gonna have avocado. You can add a little bit of your salad for your lettuce. Avocado. And then some cilantro. And if you want, the pickled jalapenos, if you want the heat, because I didn't put any real heat in there, so. And these have a very bright flavor. That fish sauce and that lime juice provides that with a lot of brightness. And there we have it. Two meals, one cooked.